All right. I have a thing from Dr. Disrespect because it just came across my U my uh, Twitter feed. I don't follow Dr. Disrespect. I haven't followed his stuff. I don't really know a whole lot about him outside. He's got a few controversies for being kind of just an asshole. Um, and the one about him cheating on his wife. Um, <laughs> more Luke the Duke. Oh, God. Yeah, we'll talk about more Luke the Duke one day, eventually. I'm but this is a Dr. Disrespect uh, clip. Um for ab about Starfield, right? So we're just gonna take a quick, quick look at this one. So as you can see, we have a video and th that says Dr. Disrespect was rejected, uh, was rejected a Starfield sponsorship deal due to his recent transphobia and he got triggered on stream because of the because the head of Bethesda publishing has pronouns in his Twitter bio. These guys wouldn't survive modern war 2 lobbies if pronouns triggered them. So that's kind of a good point about the modern warfare lobbies, but Dr. Disrespect had responded to that saying, Some of these poor people are just depressed, no life experience, and completely misdirected uh, by the intent. Look at my words being taken out of context here. Their insecurities are obvious. Politics should stay out of the video game industry entirely, along with people like this. So I'm going to play the clip, and then we'll kind of see what, he, if what Dr. Disrespect is saying is... is reasonable because he's saying it's out of context but he hasn't provided what the context is so we'll you kind of just have to look at and see what we got sadly it's a little bit blurry but yeah he's got he and him and dr disrespect currently has the he him highlighted so let's see he, him. Got it. okay he said he him got it and then moves over um, Ray's enlightened, member of enlightened, gain access to the house, enlightened, Atlantis, da 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 So this is just, like, the game. Now everything's starting to make sense. Everything's starting to make sense now. Everything's starting to make sense. Got it, got it, got it. All right. I got it, got it. So, I gotta say this, Chance, but just real quick, I, gotta, I just gotta get it off my chest. Okay, so just this, the lead up to this is him highlighting he, him, saying he, him, and then being like, oh, it all makes sense now. So uh, uh, let's see where he goes. He does seem to be a little triggered by pronouns, but let's see where it goes. Obviously, we've been hyping up Star Citizen for uh, uh, Starfield. There you go. For a long time. We've been making it very vocal, right, champs? Um... Uh, We had our team reach out. Hey, can we work with you? Can we do something? We... Due to past controversies, there's no way we can work with uh, Dr. Disrespect. Uh-huh. Such as? Which controversies? How, how about just give me, like, l let me play the game when it, when, when some of the others are playing it. How about that? Do, do, do you think that Dr... What, I, I don't know about this Dr. Disrespect trans issue. He did seem pretty upset about... pronouns. But, you know, some people just aren't marketable in that way, and certain brands don't want to work with certain people. You hyping their game up because you are excited for their game doesn't mean they owe you anything, and they're not stopping you from playing their game, nor streaming it. Yeah, it's still... that's still... that's still the case. What? Anyways, Chance, we just had... we just had to get that off our chest. Your entitlement? You needed to get your entitlement off your chest? I, I, hold on. Let me, let me just double check. Dr. Disrespect. Um, let's see if we can say controversies. You, oh, look at this. It wasn't just, it wasn't even just this Twitter account. Dr. Disrespect claims Bethesda refused him Starfield sponsorships due to past controversies. 
Dr. Disrespect claims through, uh, though he wanted to work with Bethesda, the developers behind Starfield to help promote the game upon launch, the company refused to work with him based on past controversies. From the Twitch ban, we'll never likely know the real reason behind being part of the Nick Merck's Call of Duty skin drama. Dr. Disrespect has no so shortage of controversy surrounding him on his rise up to one of the internet's biggest streamers. That said, his voice holds a lot of weight in the gaming community. He, te he gets tens of thousands of live viewers and millions of viewers viewers on his video content. His opinions are hard, or sorry, are heard by many, giving him no shortage of opportunities to take on sponsors or even explore his own business ventures. Bet he's putting out his own bourbon. Because <laughs> of course he's putting out his own bourbon. However, Doc was taken aback when the opening character's creation screen and noticed that his character had an option for pronouns. He stared at the screen for around 10 seconds, dumbfounded, then he exhaled deeply. This led him to opening Twitter and taking a jab at Pete Hines, um, Hines, whatever, Bethesda's head of publishing for having pronouns in his bio. Huh. So what was the, what was the context that was taken out that you're trying to slam this random Twitter user for. Because they showed that whole thing. The only thing they didn't show was you sighing deeply at the game having pronouns, which we have noticed that there are a lot, or at least I've noticed, that there was a lot of people that were really fucking mad about people, uh, about having gender options in video games. I mean, we've had gender options in video games for forever. This person has 4,000 followers. And they're a moderator for Vosh. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why <laughs> Dr. Disrespect decided to, like, say this was out of context when clearly that does not- that doesn't quite seem to be the case. Though Dr. Disrespect has addressed his words on stream, Bethesda has yet to comment on whether or not they had this interaction with him and have yet to confirm that they directly denied him a sponsorship. Dr. Disrespect has responded to his recent- to his recent backlash on stream inside of this arena, no matter who you are, or what your background is, white, Mexican, black, gay, lesbian, trans, it doesn't matter. So here's the thing, right? So regardless, stupid bourbon thing, I take, I take a little bit of umbrage with this statement from him in particular. Politics should stay out of video games industry entirely along with people like this. The video game industry has joined the writer's strike. That's politics. That's people wanting, like, demanding change in their space, right? Whether that be end up happening through the government or whether it happened through some kind of negotiation, any kind of that would be considered and falled, uh, fallen into, into politics. Um, but the thing is, is that art and media are related to politics inherently. Because that's what telling a story is. You, you, you got a Starfield ad. That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh my god. That's... Sorry, I need to drink to that. Mm. So the thing is, is like most stories have politics in them. That's part of what makes them interesting. Whether or not they're fantasy politics, whether or not they are real life politics, whether or not there is some kind of reflection, the whole point is that stories are supposed to be relatable. If you don't want politics in your games, play Go Fish, even though that's still internal politics. You're playing politics within the game. There's a reason why people enjoy Settlers of Catan and why that got so big, because you got to play politics. Magic the Gathering, you play politics at the table. Monopoly is a game about politics. Because it's based on economics. So, like, there, you're not gonna get a movie or a game or any kind of media, whether it be written or visual, that is not going to have any politics at all whatsoever because the people who made it have personal politics. It's just not how any of that works. So to make this kind of bullshit claim is just absolutely, to me, absurd. You, you just don't have those things. Now, there are some that lean heavier into politics than others. Like, some games will will tell, like, your Tales of the Abyss, your, like, Tales of Symphonia, will talk about, like, 
the politics between the government and the church a lot of the time. They'll use a some kind of world religion. Um, in Final Fantasy VII, you're an eco-terrorist at the beginning of the game. So lots of stories and games and classics all have politics in them and always did have politics in them and always will have politics in them to make this kind of... Th he, if he's well known for playing things like Call of Duty, are you going to pretend that war doesn't have politics? Like, that's just absurd. That makes it... It's ridiculous. I digress. There's politics in games. One of the things, like, I play League of Legends, right? And so one of the things in League of Legends is if you want to follow, like, the storylines of the characters, there's a ton of politics. So you get Demacia versus Noxus, and Noxus going to war with Ionia. There's the, if you're watching Arcane, and then you understand or starting to get that there's a politics between Zaun and Piltover and the different characters, like... They join a council at one point, like, there's politics. There's politics everywhere you go. It's inescapable. And to pretend that politics wasn't in video games or shouldn't be in video games is to try to treat video- like, try to treat games and the video game industry as if it's not real. Like, as if it's not part of life, as if they don't have any reflection. Like, this is things that- that people have fought against for a long time in saying that video games are a valid art form. And in fighting for a valid art form, you acknowledge that you have something to say. And video, some video games do. The classic example, which I haven't even brought up yet, is Bioshock. Bioshock, the entire franchise, is very political and has tons of political commentary in it. The, uh, another one would be Mass Effect. Mass Effect has tons of politics in it. So... What do you, what do you want? Half-Life has politics in it. Portal has politics in it. Halo has politics in it. What... What do you... <laughs> go play Trouble or so, go play a board game. Go play Candyland. There you go. But don't play a D&D game based in Candyland because then you're gonna get way more politics than you gambled for. <laughs> 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 I, I'm sorry, I just thought like that, I saw that and I thought it was ridiculous. It doesn't seem like he was being taken out of context, though. He doesn't want identity politics. Yeah, I mean, good luck with that. I feel like... I, you know what's weird about that, Xant, and I think you make an interesting point. He doesn't want identity politics. No, he does. He just doesn't want any identi identity politics that aren't him. That aren't his identity. <laughs>